This lecture gives another example using ARGC and ARGV. I will not repeat what has already been explained. Instead, I will focus on the new concepts only. The program first checks whether ARGC is at least 4, because this program needs 3 additional arguments. If ARGC is smaller than 4, the program returns exit failure. If ARGC is 4 or larger, the program converts ARGV1 and 2 to integers and stores the values in VAL1 and VAL2. This program needs to include another header file, string.h. This header file is needed for the strcmp function. This function compares two strings based on their lexicographical order, also called the dictionary order. If the two strings are the same, this function returns zero. If the first string would appear earlier in a dictionary, the function returns a negative value. If the first string would appear later in a dictionary, the function returns a positive value. This if condition tests whether ARGV3 is the same as the plus sign. If they are the same, this program adds the values from ARGV1 and ARGV2. If ARGV3 is not the plus sign, the program next determines whether it is the minus sign. If it is the minus sign, the program subtracts VAL2 from VAL1 and prints the results. If ARGV3 is neither the plus sign nor the minus sign, the program prints a message and returns exit failure. The program returns exit success if ARGV3 is either the plus sign or the minus sign. Next, let me show you the program running. I first run the program without giving any argument. The program prints need three arguments because of the if condition. This if condition is necessary because we must ensure that ARGV1, 2, and 3 exist before using them. The next example uses 24, 37 and the plus sign as the arguments. The program prints 24 plus 37 equals 61. The program compares ARGV3 with a plus sign. If they are equal, STRCMP returns 0. The next example uses 65, 18, and the minus sign as the arguments. A RGV3 is the minus sign so the program subtracts 18 from 65 and the result is 47. The next example uses 65, 18, and asterisk. Since asterisk is neither the plus sign nor the minus sign, the program prints neither plus nor minus and returns exit failure. This example shows how to use ARGC and ARGV to control the behavior of a program. Depending on the arguments, the program may add the two numbers, subtract second number from the first number, or print neither plus nor minus.